Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and today is my last day in my Minardi week. And if you don't know what my Minardi week is, I have played with all my palettes from Minardi this week and the last palette is Pastel Pop. So I'm just going to dig into this and I actually thinking about doing a purple eye. So if you don't know, this is the Pastel Pop. It is their Pastel Palette. Maybe that's say itself because it's Pastel Pop. I have done a first impression on this and I think I've only used only this palette once. I have done, I've taken some colors, I think two of them in other looks, but only this I've only used once. So it's going to be fun to see what I want to do, or I know what I want to do. It's going to be fun to see how this will go. My first impression, I did like a rainbow eye, so I did two different eyes. I'm not going to do that today. I am going to mostly use belly slide and ice cap, maybe whisker, and settle back and maybe snowball. I don't know, but snowball... I think I will use it. <laughs> but I will start with... What did I agree on with myself just a moment ago? But do you know what I actually think I will do? I actually think I will take Cuddle first, this one, and take it in my crease, but it's going to be like purple eye. And I was first thinking about using the black, as I said, and do like smoky. smoky eye with purple but how fun with will that be so I changed my mind and now I changed my mind again as you heard and it's going great so I'm going to start with this cuddle and I really like this is such a fun bright pink and I actually bought this palette because I wanted... Okay, I bought it because it's Minari and I really like Minari. But also because I wanted to come... To have some shades that I'm missing in my Creepy Cute palette from Shroud. That is my favorite pastel palette, but... It's only like six pastels in that one. And then it's a gray and a black. And I wanted like some more colors, like a brighter pink, I wanted yellow, so that's why I bought this one. Or one of the reasons. I'm going in with Belly Slide, this more purple one. Take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take this in my crease as well. Just to deepen it down a little bit. And to have a little bit of a pink, no, purple in here. It is something with me. And see, color sometime. My head is like, I don't know which color it is. But this is a uh, purple on a pink. It feels like I have done a lot of more grungier looks the latest. I love that, but sometimes I just want like an overload with cute, fun colors. So, I will go in with Ice Cap and Snowball. And I will of course take Snowball on my inner lid, half. Sometimes it feels like my something is wrong with my brain. So okay, I will take ice cap and snowball on my lid and I will take snowball in here. I then think I might want to try to deepen down ice cap with whiskers. We will see. I don't I used quite a lot of the shades in my first impression because I did two different eyes. 
I really love to do that when I'm doing a first impression to do two different eyes. I'm just going in with the purple one. Uh, because then you can use a lot more of the shades. And yes, because it's so fun to do two different eyes, but at the same time it's <laughs> fun to do two of the same eyes. But what I was going to say, I don't think I used eyes cap then. I honest, honestly can't remember. Or maybe I used all the shades except of these three. I could easily have been looked this up before I started to talk. But I did not. So now I will take a snowball and put it on the rest of my lid and I don't know if I want to cut it. When I swatch it, it feels really, really opaque and it feels like I can control it. So do you, do you know what? I will try it. But maybe not. Maybe I should use a glare glue, a glare primer. I think the glitter can get everywhere if I do not, and I want this to be opaque. So I'm going in with my glitter primer from NYX. I love this so much. I think I need to buy a new one because it's, it's getting low. And I'm just like cutting away and try to follow my eye shape a little bit but not that much and if you ever struggle with a cut crease I hated them at first I thought it was so hard to get a good shape but I think it's just like you're going to learn and it's going to be better it is like that with everything when it comes to makeup just keep doing it now I'm taking Snowball and pressing it on. I think they released some more like shimmers when they released this palette. To like a trio with Snowball and others. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to buy anything from Nardis since the whole situation in the world began because pretty early on they stopped to ship outside of the US. I know that they ship to some countries in the world right now um, outside of US only few in Europe and Sweden is not one of them. I don't know if this is super good. But I think it's kind of good at least. I think it will do. If I put it like that. I just want to go in with the blue I had on my lid ice cap and blend this. I think I like this little pastel eye, but I'm so, I, I actually think that I will go in with a black one, but I'm not sure. Maybe I will fuck this up. It's now I want you to help me, but you can't because you're seeing this when everything is already done. Okay, um, I'm going to cut the other eye. And I don't think you need to see that. So I will cut that. I come back maybe to put on a black shade or maybe with base on. I'm not using black. <laughs> I was debating with myself for a pretty long time. But I think I just want to keep this as a light fun look. So for my lower lash. I'm going in with a cuddle that I have had in my... I don't know why... English is so hard for me right now. I'm going to go in with cuddle as I had in my crease first and then I think I will take ice cap to combine it here to my lower lash. It always feels like a little bit 
I feel... Okay, wait. I always feel like happy and a little... I don't know what to say. Not surprised, but... When you comment and say that I'm good at English, I'm like, oh, thank you. And then now for like <laughs> some weeks, English has really not been my thing. Sometimes I talk a little bit English at work. Yes, some phrases because I deal with truck drivers that is from all of Europe and like the most basic things. It's like, I don't know how to speak anymore. So, so sorry for that. <laughs> I hope I will come back to uh, somewhat more proper English. So I will take ice cap, this one. And I love a lid. <laughs> Lower lid, yeah, I got two lids. I have two lids, but I want to take this. And for a last little thing, I want to take Saddleback, this white one, and put it in my inner corner. Because I think that white can look really cool. And matte white can look really cool in your inner corners. Maybe not in mine. Maybe not in mine. Poop. Maybe in mine. Okay, so for my wash line, I want, of course, take something fun, dark, fun, dark, fun, bright. And I have some options. I'm going to pick out all the options for you. Yes, I might do that. So I'm guessing I... Whoops! <laughs> I'm guessing I have these from both NYX and Colourpop. But I think this will be too dark. And this may be too bright. And uh, you know what? I will go with Crybaby. I will go off cam, put on my mascara and some lipstick. And then I come back with the finished pastel pop look. That is also the last look in this week. And I'm going to try to work on my English. So this is the finished look. I didn't go with a dark lipstick. <laughs> I actually took a kind of old lipstick from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is in Lovecraft and I think it goes with the look. And what do I think about my little pinkish, purplish, bluish Look, I actually really like it. I used Belle Slide, Cuddle, Ice Cap, Snowball, and Saddleback. And I like this look. I think it's fun. I think it's bright. I think it's really opaque though. So yeah, I still really like this power. I don't think that all of the shadows has like the same punch as the creepy cute but I think this is a good pastel palette and you have very many options so I like it the one thing I don't like with this and I feel kind of alone with this I don't like the front of it I love seals I think it's cute but <laughs> I do not want it on my palette I'm picking I like the back though this I like more yeah, this is my finished look. My week with Menardi is over. I want to thank you so much for getting... Ah, Jesus. So that means my week with Menardi is over. I really hope that you liked it. I want to thank you all for your support this week. It has been so fun. Even though I was very tired now when I was filming the last video. But it has been so fun to use my Menardi palettes more. I really wanted this and I'm so happy that I finally have done it. I think this might be my favorite look I've done this week. I don't know, but I actually really, really like it. I like the white one in my inner corners. 
please tell me which one was your favorite. I will leave my playlist up in the corner with all the videos I've done this week. And if you want to see another theme week here on my channel, please let me know which brand you want me to use. If you have been here, you know which brands I have the palettes from. And uh, yeah, I think it's fun to do this. And yeah, if it's some brand that I have that you want to see, just comment down below and I will try to fix it. Maybe it will take a couple of weeks because it's, it just will take a couple of weeks. Why do I think that I need to explain myself? I don't know. But yeah. Thank you so much for this week. I am so happy that you all are here. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!